Hello, uh, thank you for being here. My name is Viviana Londoño and I'm a master's student in the Universidad de Los Andes from Bogota, Colombia. And I'm going to talk to you about a part of my master thesis, which is the role of functional traits on the seed germination niche hypothesis. Then, why it is important to, to understand the role of functional traits in the germination competition in a forest? Because germination is a limited factor uh, for the species to occur in a forest. Uh, plants must pass through many ecological filters, some extrinsic to them, like the climate, the seasonality of a place, but some of them intrinsic to the species, like the phenology, the fruit, fruit production, the dispersion, and the dormancy. I'm sorry, I'm going to take this. Um, so, plant species vary in germination and seed traits. Those forest composition and structure is defined by these traits. Uh, these traits is also defined the germination niche of each species. So why studying germination ecology? Because studying germination ecology in a forest with extreme climatic conditions provides a great setting for unraveling adaptati adaptive strategies of seed and germination traits. So the ecosystem we picked for that was the tropical dry forest. It's a forest formation that we have in Colombia. Uh, its main characteristic is that it has is seasonal, with a dry season and a rainy season. Uh, the rainy season is the establishment season because it's the only moment when plants can take water for the germination to occur. The forest structure is dominated by liana and trees. Uh, it's less rich than other forests, uh, lowland forests like the rainforest. And it's, most, it's one of the most endangered ecosystems in the tropics. Uh, is le with less than 2% remaining of its original extension. In Colombia, we can find it in the Caribbean and the Inter and the Valleys. One of the most interesting characteristics of these forests is that the most diverse families in these forests all, all over the world are almost the same. Favase, Vignoniase, Sapindase, Caparase, Euphorbiase, and Rubiase. This composition must be related with the, um, with the fact that the plants must take uh, hydric stress, uh, some of them are semi-deciduous, and because of that, the plants must be able to germinate in an understory with direct solar radiation. So species are tightly adapted to this kind of force. And for Favase, which is the family, richest family in this forest, there is a hypothesis that is about it niche germination and propose that the germination in this, in this uh, family is faster and more than in other families in the tropical dry forest. So we wanted to prove if that hypothesis is correct. So we retest the Fabasis germination hypothesis then we wonder about which are the most important traits for the germination in the tropical dry forest. And finally, which of these traits are related with Fawasi. So we collect the seeds in six localities in the Caribbean tropical forest in Colombia. Uh, we collect the seeds from the tree and we avoid to collect more of the 40% of the uh, production of the populations to avoid damage to the population. And we measure seed and germination traits. The seed trays we measure were seed weight, uh, mass, volume, uh, assuming an ellipsoidal shape of the seed, and moisture content as the difference between fresh and dry weight. The germination traits we measure were percentage of germination. We also try to test the physical dormancy in all the species, time and speed of germination, synchrony, and germination under different light qualities. We have four treatments for this last experiment. One with the, all with the same temperature conditions of the tropical dry forest. And one was with white light during 12 hours by day. Another one was a pulse of red with high relation red red, which is the light that the seed receives if germinates in the clear of a forest. 
a balls of far red, which is a low relation red far red, which is like a seed that germinates under shadow and total darkness. So what we found? We collect a total of 65 native tree and lianas species of the tropical dry forest. For all of those species, we performed the experiments I mentioned before. And of those species, 26 were favasi. So, we made the test to retest the favasi seed germination niche hypothesis and which germination traits are related with that. And we found that favasi species germinate more, faster, in less time, and more synchronically than the species from other families. We also performed the same test for which, with other dominant families, but we didn't find these differences in Favasi. So they are better competitors in the tropical dry forest. We found support for the Favasi germination niche hypothesis. They germinate faster, which is advantageous because their seedlings enter first to the seedling bank and also avoid uh, seed predators for the seeds. And it has a better performance in germination and establishment. And another thing that is very important here is that as it's a very uh, endangered forest, uh, it's showing that one of the most important families in this forest is easier to propagate than the other. For the second question, uh, which are the most important seed traits for germination in a tropical dry forest? Well, we, I made ANOVAs for every of those 65 species, and I just show this. <laughs> Most of the species, and that's in percent physical dormancy under the conditions of tropical dry forest. I'm not saying that these species do not present um, impermeable seed codes, but the tropical forest conditions permit to break this seed dormancy. Because of the change in season, can uh, ex generate expansion and contraction of the seed coat, which makes wow, well, I don't know what this. <laughs> um, expansion and contraction of the seed coat. What makes it break is uh, physical dormancy. So the first one is no physical dormancy for most of the species. Uh, then we make linear regressions between the seed traits and the germination traits, and we only found a relation between volume and speed, moisture content and speed, I don't know, and percentage and moisture content. For speed, we found a slightly negative relation showing that the small seeds uh, germinate faster than the bigger seeds. For moisture content, uh, we found that species with uh, low moisture content germinate more and faster than the species with high moisture content. This has a lot of sense if we think in the imbibition process is going to be faster in seeds with low moisture content. And so those are the other traits that we found that are significant for the relation with I, <laughs> with uh, the, that are significant with the relation of the germination trait. So for the third question, we want to we ask us which of these traits are related with Favasi. So we found, we made a PCA, and we found that uh, we, we grouped them by Favasi and non-Favasi species. The red one is the Favasi species. The blue, green in this case, one uh, is the non-Favasi species. And as we can see, uh, Favasi species germinate more, faster, and also germinate under all light conditions. So we made like a little classification uh, referring to this part of the light quality behavior and the germination. So 10 species were pioneered. It means that they only can germinate if they, if they receive direct light. Uh, 12 species can be considered no pioneer. It means that they need, uh, they cannot germinate under direct light, but they can germinate under darkness and shadow. And 43 species can germinate under all light qualities, from total darkness to light. This is very important because it's showing that if we are going to um, restore the forest, 
we now know that there are 12 species that we can only seed in the, inside the forest, 10 species that we can use for uh, uh, regenerate the border of the forest and the clears, and 43 species that can grow everywhere. So that is very important for the regeneration process in the tropical dry forest. So to conclude, we found that non-dormant seas, uh, uh, most of the Favase and tropical dry forest conditions are favoring non-dormant physical seeds, uh, small volume seeds, low moisture content. We support the Favase germination niche hypothesis. Favase germinate faster and more. And we also propose that another of the characteristics that these uh, species of Favase have is that they can germinate under all like qualities, so they behave as generalist species under the tropical dry forest conditions. Additionally to this, we uh, create protocols for seed germination of the Caribbean dry forest. We make this little booklet for the community of some poor areas in Cartagena, Colombia, and we work with the community to help them to understand how they can propagate their native species in this area. This is the first study in evaluated germination ecology in the Caribbean dry forest, this broad, and could be used as a restoration guide and a reforestation guide for the Caribbean dry forest. Special thanks to my friends that helped me in this process, my advisors, and the universities who helped me to be here, the Botanical Society of America, and you and Botany Congress. Thank you.